Hello, this is Diamond Knights over here, and today I'm going to start a new series of Scratch. Today I'm going to show you how to clone your sprite and make a move. Read the words in front of you, please. So, to clone your sprite, well, you can do that easily. I've made a small code here. But they're not moving around. So, that's, so that's what I'm going to fix here. So, on this code over here, it says, when I start as a clone, because over here, it says create a clone of myself. So I'm going to have to fix it to when I start as a clone block to add one. But over here is the blocks. Zoom out. So... Put a block on. So when I started the clone, there's a forever block here. We should make a move, shouldn't we? So to make a move around, let's get the forever block, and we can also make them say meow. I'm just going to turn it down. you can hear so we need to make a move so we can we can make it go into random positions so let's make it go into a random position so ready see how they're moving crazy they're crazy aren't they so, I'll show you that again. Ready? So, whenever they're moving, they're starting to make a sound. Thanks to this code over here. But what happens if you don't want to do it like that? You just want them to start running around. So, let's get rid of this code. Get rid of this. Let's change it to repeat. So we should repeat it, let's say about... Five times. So we want to make them glide over to here, glide over to here, glide over to here, glide over to here, over to here. and shall we make them glide into the middle again? So, this is the code I made. <clears throat> so now, let's see what happens. Ready? See? That's weird, isn't it? So we can continue doing it five times. So soon they'll stop. The camera's got a funny colour, so the actual sprites are actually orange. I'm using the cat sprite, right? Should we add another sprite in and make it do the same? Well, first, let's just get rid of that. Let's kind of just clone a new 
a new cat, duplicate. But with this, with Sprite Two, it's got the same thing. But let's change it to a different thing. So let's change it. To, well, over here is the sections. As you can see, we've got these things. So now, let's choose a character from, let's say, all. Now let's change back to letters. Let's do D, because after all, this is the diamond lightsaber. Posting this. So from now on, the D will do the same. You ready? So the D's are just doing the same. So the cats with the black background are just D's. I just have D's at the back. There's a lot of things to explore in Scratch. Like, like, like operators, for example. Operators just has these types of stuff. So let's say, so let's get rid of this clone here, this thing here, the glide clone. Whoops. Okay. So let's get rid of the repeat code as well. So we have to change back to a if and then and a forever. So let's make it so if we press a button, the code starts. Let's see, why don't we press one? So we go over to sensing, we go over to keys, press space. We, we press this, or if you want it to be that, you can just keep it like that. So right now I'm just going down. Let's do one. If one key pressed, let's just do the same. So we're going to make him glide up to here, then over to here, then we should make him go over, glide over to here, glide over to here, glide over to here, and here, should be our code, there for the D. So now let's test it out. So I'll put it on full screen. You can see. So ready, set, go. So let's press one now. Now you can see the D's going across the screen. Yeah. So this is a so this was the tutorial of um of making D um to make the sprites the clone of your sprite move. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.